crisp, cold air. Why? Why do you keep showing up? In spite of knowing that the outcome shall be just the same as how it always was. Beats having to toil away under your overbearing supervision. And besides, as you may be aware, I've recently made up my mind to leave this place. Yeah, utterly incorrigible. When next we meet here, then we'll keep it brief. I have grown weary of our aimless conversations. Now prepare. Take such disrespect from you. Thank <laughs> you. 
again, I... you... Tch. In my father's name. The sun. My son. I'm here, mother. Of everything down in that gloomy house, I miss old Cerberus the most, I think. But I miss other things as well. The lack of light was gentler on my skin. Not being as cold. And Nyx and her young sons. It was all very odd, but... Mother, in father's bedchambers. Mind you, there's almost nothing there, just neatly sorted rows of all his samey capes. But on his nightstand is a portrait of you, wearing a regal crown of red laurels. A queen. His queen. I was fitted for those garments when I first arrived. They were not my customary style. So Hades has a portrait of me still. Why would he put it back on display now? No, no, he's never let anybody in his bedchambers. I broke in, don't you see? He didn't put your portrait back on display. It's always been there. Ever since you left. So, Mother, why do you suppose he would do that? Because he... Because he loves me still. Is that what you want me to say? Have you ever loved him yourself? All I really wanted was to leave Olympus. I didn't exactly abscond. I doubt I had much of a choice, but I went willingly. Perhaps Zeus knew how I felt, and thought he was doing me a favor. As for Hades, I grew to love him, yes. He always gave me my space. Won't you, uh, won't you please talk to him? Or visit Cerberus again, or Nyx? As for Olympus, surely all of you can figure something out? I just don't know, my son. Olympus is behind me, and the underworld... I cannot imagine I would be very welcome there after all this time. But you are the queen. <sighs> yeah, you are the queen. I just got back shortly before you did. What is it now? I see that sneering look upon your countenance, which must mean you have yet another one of your insipid questions, haven't you? Oh, this one's not insipid in the slightest. Let me get this straight. My mother's Persephone, her mother's Demeter, but her father evidently was some farm boy. My red blood comes from him, and my propensity to die, I guess. You blame your ancestors for your own weakness. You should be thankful you were born with immortality. Though your meddlesome curiosity and constant need for affirmation must certainly be from your mortal side. Then mother, did she grow older with age? Is she just going to expire as the mortals do? With demigods I hear it can go either way. I said never to speak of her, blast you. You said yourself she is the daughter of the Goddess of Seasons. Use your fool head for once. I'll have to try that, thanks. <clears throat> I never doubted you. 
Father loved her, didn't he? Mother, I mean. Faith like that. He's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her, isn't he? Though what she saw in him, I'm not sure. Your father was different with Persephone, to some extent. He has always been as you know him, yet... Her lightness. It affected even him, I think. And he knows that he was better with her than without. Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. But it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you and Cerberus. She said she misses you. She did, did she? 